Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blaze here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi collection video. All right, this time we're gonna be talking about the news of the uh, new God Itachi coming out. It's gonna be a version two God Itachi, and I'm assuming he'll be, uh, of course, better than the version one, who is still actually pretty good. I think he's gotten a lot better since more Akatsuki units have come out. So, um, he's gotten really good, especially with his ability to keep a um, shield, not a shield, but a state up that protects him from skill damage for like, a, what is it, three turns or something. Now, there are units that can remove it, like, um, was it God Leads, um, the new God Leads Sasuke, but for the most part, it's very good because it does fix damage, it hits hard as hell, and it's extremely fast. So, I think he's probably come back since then, but I'm assuming this, um, version 2-1 may do something similar, like, kind of like the uh, version 2 God Lead Kaguya does the same thing as the version 1 as far as, um, skill damage goes and being immune to it for a couple of turns now um itachi um as far as the news went it didn't really say anything major it just kind of just said stuff we already know itachis are going to be on the banner it'll be probably 50 every multi um it'll be a step up the max percentage will probably be like two like it usually is um they're gonna have some gods on there some maybe a couple of itachis you know stuff we already assume and already know about um itachi so yeah other than that no major news now i was hoping that he um he'll be better i don't know because people are saying that he might one guy was speculating he might even counter shisui i was kind of hoping he would work really good together with shisui because shisui just came out like i know shisui and the Kage do pretty well together but i was hoping that this itachi would also do pretty well along with um shisui because the version one sasuke for you guys not version one sasuke but version one god leave itachi and uh, somebody already just dropped in right here. I feel like he's going to be a single target unit. I don't give a fuck if he is. But, I mean, um, what I was going to say is I was kind of hoping he would work really good with Shisui as far as, like, um, maybe some kind of protection. Because for you who probably forgot that the version 1 Itachi, with his second skill, can put him and any Sasuke in a state where they protect them for skill damage for, like, three turns. So I was hoping that... You know, he would do something similar for Shisui. The version 1 one protects Sasuke. And maybe this one can buff um, any Shisui unit or something like that. I don't really know. But I was really hoping that it would do something like they would work really well together. You could put both of them on a team together. Throw the third Okage right there. And um, I guess you could throw like that Origin Naruto if you have him. The Rasen Shuriken one that fought Kakazu. I think you probably could throw them right there because they're kind of tank. He's kind of tanky. So I was hoping that that would be a really good team idea right there. Or just run a whole Itachi team like Shisui right there, the new Shisui. Because he's kind of cancerous too. So I was just hoping for something like that as far as like a team build goes. Because he's like, he's going to, I feel like he's going to be so good. Because any Itachi that comes out in the game is just really fucking good. Like I can't think of any time Itachi came out on his initial banner where he was bad. Like I, maybe like, because I don't remember like really that far back. Like. I'm trying to think, like, I can't remember a time where Itachi was a horrible unit when he first came out. He's usually very fucking good. I mean, the Black EX, the, well, the Black EX one that came out, like, four years ago is, like, I got a seven-star buff, so he's still used. Um, God Slayer, when it just came out, is fucking top three in the game. The Godly one, version one, kind of just came back up in tier. Um, the EX Destroyer one is still really good. Um, the one that sits in the chair was really good when he came out. I think the EX Destroyer one was pretty, the version 1 EX Destroyer one was still pretty good when he came out. Um, the Anbu Itachis, they're all really good when they come out. They're never really bad. So, I'm assuming because of that, based off of those previous experiences with Itachi, that he will, you know, do the same. He'll be good too. So, here's the hoping for that. Now, I did a video about talking about the new tier list like I usually do that Yuya, the homie Yuya, shout out to him once again, made. But um, I don't know if I'm going to drop the video. It doesn't really seem like it makes a whole lot of sense to drop the video now, especially with Itachi on the way. Because he put Shisui on here, but Itachi isn't on here because he got revealed. Like, what did he put this up? The 20, the 4th, and then it's three days later Itachi got announced. So it doesn't seem like it's... um. A really a good idea to put a tier list video up right now because we don't know how good that um, Itachi is going to be. I'll probably wait till after the Itachi because I don't think anybody else's birthday who is a major popular character is coming out in June. I think the next um, big unit that's going to get released is a Sasuke unit because Sasuke's birthday is right around the time of the iOS anniversary. So I think that will be the next big unit. Every other unit will probably be small, good units that will um, not really be um, meta breaking or anything, but they'll just be solid units. 
So I'm not speculating anything too major next month or two. So I was talking about this tier list saying like, you know, I, I agree with the top three right here. Like these three are like really fucking good. Um, between the three, I think the um, Gosselier Naruto is probably third and then like I think well, third or second and then like Naruto and Sasuke versus Itachi they kind of go back and forth depending on the situation you're in because like it's a very situ like I always say it's kind of a situational game it's hard to say which one is the best in the game but it, it's like they go back and forth that's why I dropped that video of them fighting each other in 3v3 for that, that whole fucking like how long was that like 18 minutes or something because they kind of go back and forth for first place it just depends on the situation you're in which one is better and then Naruto is just like right after that and then, of course, you got the units right here. Now, Shisui, I think he works very well with the, um, the uh, Leaf Village team, especially with his Frenzy State. And he works very well with a uh, third Hokage unit. And they're also in the same tier. The homie um, Shinobi Blazin told me to throw um, Itachi right here on the team, too. Because I was trying to think of a team to work together with the Shisui. So I was thinking, like, uh, Itachi, the third Okage, and then... Um, Shisui and then like a fourth unit. I don't know. I was kind of hoping I would get the Anbu Itachi maybe or maybe this Naruto and throw them on a team together and just have like that team and that team would be pretty powerful. But I don't know. I'll see what I can do in the future as far as that goes. But other than that, nothing um nothing too busy to worry about. Like I'm just hoping that the Itachi will be up here or maybe even in an SS tier. That way I can go on and assemble for them. Now I'm thinking about doing a live stream for it because I haven't went live in a while. And it'll be a perfect opportunity to test out the um, Omelette Arcade app I stream off of to see if I can uh, do a dual stream. I'm going to try to stream on Twitch and stream on uh, YouTube at the same time. And what I want to try to do is push everybody to go towards Twitch. That way I can get off of YouTube and just stream on Twitch. That way I have more freedom as far as streams go. And then I can stream like, my content and put some stuff on YouTube. You know, like everybody else does. Because that's actually like really fucking smart to do that. That way you can stream like, your content better. And you can make um, one live stream and have multiple videos. So that's kind of what I was thinking about I'm doing that right there. Besides, YouTube does that weird thing where it disconnects me and shit. So I'm tired of dealing with that. I don't like having like 150 people or more plus in my live stream. And then they randomly get disconnected, hit with an ad, and then it tells them I'm fucking... Um, done streaming when I'm not because some of those people don't come back So I'm missing out on a lot of um, you know fucking views and it just makes me look It just makes my stuff look bad too because it looks like it has a drastic drop But other than that nothing major news wise has come out besides the Itachi uh, PvP is going on right now. So make sure you guys grind that up I'm pretty sure you guys have been grinding that I've been seeing people screenshot it and put it in discord anyway so I'm pretty sure people are grinding that. I was going to put up a PvP video, but I got a little busy this weekend. I had to clean up my basement and do a bunch of other stuff because it flooded. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing a live stream for that. I'm probably going to do it like the 3 in the morning like I normally do. I figure most people are still on um, quarantine anyway, so it probably would be a good idea to grab this. I'll probably throw it up now. That way I can tell people to um, come on out to the stream. But then again, I do want to wait because I want to see how good Itachi is. Because right now, as far as it goes, it's just speculation of how good the uh, Tachi is. We don't know. They might decide to shaft Itachi this time around. I hope not, but we're going to have to wait and see. I was hoping that the homie Yui would throw up a translation before he uh, before it um, came out. Like I was like, dang, he didn't throw up a translation yet. So, it'll be all right, though. But, um, Godly God Killer Tachi will not be on a Godly Tachi better. You think so? Nah, damn. Oh, well, I don't get the fuck. I got to do Max Nindo and Gold Frames. I don't really give a shit if he's on a banner or not. I was thinking he was going to be on the banner. But if he say he ain't on the banner, I don't know. We're going to have to see when he gets here. Godly Itachi, not God Killer Itachi about the new one. Okay, this is just them talking about the uh, new unit. Everybody just speculating and hoping that it will be good. Now, translations-wise, the third Okage may work really good. Like, I was hoping he, the Godly Itachi will just do with the version 1 and buff... Even Leaf Village units. He don't even have to just buff Shisui. He can buff Leaf Village and Akatsuki units. That would be awesome if he could do something like that. You guys put gay right here. You guys are funny. Um, Let's talk about the third Okage real quick. Because he's a debuffer and supporter. So he's actually really good. And his um gear is in the 10-10 event. So make sure you guys get the 10-10 event. And also he's a really good unit. Um... He's a point booster in the 10-10 event. So if you do pull him, max into him, he'll give you more points. Also get the... um. Asuma that's in the um, point ranking video in the point ranking um out right now the premium I can't think of it words you guys know the same ones you play a bunch of times the freak monthly point booster character I can't really see him that well so let's see if we can open the original 
and see if it'll pop open. Hopefully Google Chrome won't fucking fuck me over. I need to get a better browser. I'm gonna get um something better. Worst case scenario, if you don't pop open, I'll just use it on my phone and just read this. Because the Haruzin is actually really good. He's kind of like she's sweet. Like, if you hit him or kill him, he'll just end up fucking you in the end. So that's kind of what I kind of liked about him anyway. Because the ability 2 is really cool too. Like, it would stand plus 3 and inflict seal and jutsu seal to enemies upon death. It doesn't say a specific type of enemy. It just says enemies. So that's actually really, really good being able to seal and inflict jutsu seal upon the enemies. And he has a withstand, so that's actually really good too. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me pop it up on my phone. You guys can see this stuff, too. You can also go to the Discord and look. But let me pop it over on my phone because Google Chrome is taking forever to open. So let me pop it open here on my phone and then read it to you guys so you guys can better see it. Um, his first skill is fast. Chalk cost 80. What it does is deal 7% plus 300,000 to a target enemy. Deal an additional attack dealing 300,000 fixed damage. Deal two additional attacks dealing 300,000 to a non-Konoha enemy. Always hit, which is I love always hit. First of all, I feel like I need to say that. I haven't I don't say that enough. I, I love always hit. And um to a non-Kona High enemy, a non-Kona High enemy is pretty much like a lot of PvP nowadays, especially with Akatsuki coming back in, just overpowering everybody because everybody's afraid to run none type enemies. You either run Kona High enemies or uh, Akatsuki, really no one really runs none type like that. The only two the only like three they run is like the God Lead Obito, God Slayer Madara, well the other God Slayer Madara, and then like a Kaguya. Other than that, they don't really like run none type like that anymore. Akatsuki is taking over, and then Naruto and Sasuke are Konoha. So, and then Naruto and Sasuke's leader skill all provides you with a lot more freedom to run whatever unit you want. So, being able to do some more damage to non Konoha enemies is going to be very helpful. Um, the second skill is party defense plus 100%. Uh, grant previous Hokage states itself, grant Hokage's protection to Konoha allies if there's a destroyer enemy. Previous Hokage attack speed is skill damage plus 100%, skill damage immunity, and then Hokage's protection would stand plus one and skill immunity. Uh, his leader skill is Ch Konoha Chakra cost is set to zero for one turn. Um, I don't think any of my Konoha units really have issues with Chakra, so I don't really see that as a um, a prevalent leader skill. I really don't need it like that. Um, ability one, at the start of battle, if there's a destroyer enemy, inflict the uh, disable positive special state for one turn, which is actually really good to get rid of those fucking annoying ass positive special states. That can also slow down people who still use Hanabi. <laughs> um, ability two, inherited will of fire, would stand plus three, inflict seal and jutsu seal upon enemies, on enemies upon death, excuse me, I just read it, I don't know how I messed it up that bad. And then type, ability three is this type advantage. The gear is actually really good too. Like his um Enma Netsuke. I think that's just the Enma his um summoning. And then his headband. And then um that's pretty much it right there. Like this dude is actually pretty fucking good. Like I want to run him on a team with Shisui. Like just imagine being able to inflict seal and jutsu seal upon somebody on find your death. And then you fuck around and got Shisui's frenzy state going off on top of that. That's gotta be like annoying to deal with. And then Shisui has something too, I think, when he dies. Like anytime he gets attacked, yeah, that's that's crazy. Like ability one, like one turn chance to inflict God frenzy, God state when Grant entrust state to party upon death. So anytime these idiots die, it's like it's almost like you fucking do massive extra. Ma oh my god, I clicked on you again. You do massive damage or you do some kind of crazy ass effect. So this is Chi Sui is like really good. So it's almost like you want to slow the Chi Sui down because you want him to get hit. You want Sarutobi to get hit also. That way they'll start just inflicting their stupid crazy states on top of you and just doing massive amounts of damage and um, you know, all the other fucking craziness they can do. So those two I love would love to run on a team together. And I'm hoping, like I keep saying, I'm hoping that the God Slayer, not God Slayer, but God Lady Tachi does something similar to that. That way I can throw him right there, throw Hiruzen right there, throw God Lady Tachi right there. And maybe throw something else right there. Because I need another 40 cost to throw right there. Um, but Donzo be good. Because I pulled. I fucking ended up trading for Donzo. I don't even use him. I was supposed to showcase him. I don't even fucking. I don't even use that loser. I feel bad. I didn't pull him. And I don't even fucking use him. I feel bad. I don't know who else I could throw in that last slot. I wish I had fucking. Um. The Ross St. Shirk and Naruto right here, because he's actually pretty tanky. So I kind of wish I had him to throw right there for that Konoha team, or kind of Konoha team. But um, 
Yeah, the homie you using here right now, shit. I need to ask him, hit him up about these translations, boy. But uh, that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. If you guys like this video, you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This me, boy, Blazehood. Peace out.